welcome back to the Weekly Reminders with Zane and Maddie. Tonight at 6 p.m. there will be a National Honor Society induction ceremony for new members. Wednesday at 6 p.m. there will be a FAFSA parent night for those who are interested. Ten on Thursday, November 8th, we will be hosting a Veterans Day assembly in the gym. If you have a friend or a family member you would like to invite to be honored, please see your first block teacher to get an invitation and return it no later than Wednesday, November 7th. Details will be on the invitations. If you have questions, see Ms. Evans. Wyatt Snyder interviewed Alexis Nelms for our Female Senior Spotlight. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Wyatt Snyder and I'm here with our Girl Senior of the Week, Alexis Nelms. How does it feel to be our Senior of the Week? Cool. <laughs> cool. So, what all do you take part in here in her county? I'm in SCA, FCA, Y Club, FCCLA, and I play basketball and tennis. Nice. So, I understand that uh, basketball tryouts just happened, and uh, what all do you have to do for tryouts? For tryouts, we came and we got ready, and we did stations. We started off and we did 10-minute stations with defense, ball handling, and then some conditioning, which included basketball sit-ups. So, I hope I have abs. And after that, we scrimmaged, and then we did some running. Wow. So, how long have you been playing basketball? Um, I've been playing since I was little, but I played in high school all four years. Impressive. So, uh, what was the last movie you watched two weeks ago? I would have to say How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Already? Yeah, it's never too late. It's too early though. You're right. Back to you. Thanks, Wyatt. Now for our male senior spotlight, Tyson O'Neill with Lori. Hi, I'm Lori Estelle, and I'm here with Tyson O'Neill, our guy senior of the week. How does it feel to be the guy senior of the week? Feels pretty good, I guess. <laughs> so I know that you're an FFA, and I also heard that y'all went to Indianapolis for an FFA convention. How did that go? Oh, uh, well, it was pretty good. Got to meet a whole bunch of new people and just see what it's like to watch your buddies and everybody else get their national degree at FFA. That's cool. And what did the convention consist of? Well, we had a whole bunch of these conventions where some of them were colleges, uh, the other one were like stores and stuff, where I guess you can, I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Nice. And is it true you started the FFA Cowboy Hat trend? It is. I start everything in her county. <laughs> All right. Back to you. Thanks, Lori. Now for Fun Stuff with Rory and Wyatt. Welcome back to Fun Stuff with me, Wyatt Snyder, and... Me, Lori Danforth. So, in this day in history, besides the fact that many of our U.S. presidents have been elected, in 1979, Ayatollah Rahola Khomeini took over Iran. And this week's fun fact, if you hold your nose while trying to hum, it won't work. Hmm. That's great, guys. Our football team recently won the region championship against Lamar County. Let's head over to Mac and Caitlin to find a little bit more about it. Welcome back to the Brave Sports Network with Mac and Caitlin. Two weeks ago, our Braves defeated Lamar. Let's check out the highlights from that week's game. That's awesome. This Friday, our Braves will play in the first round of the state playoffs. Be sure to wish them luck these next few weeks as they compete. Our softball team concluded their season recently and had another very successful season. For the eighth consecutive season, the Lady Braves made a trip to the Sweet 16. They also had several players make the All-Region team. Hannah Holden, Marissa Garza, Sydney Gay, Brittany Grayley, Alexis Crawford, and Laura Glover made first team. 
Brittany Scarborough, Caitlin Baldwin, Haley Bennett, Anna Cosper, and Taylor Paris made the second team. Congratulations to everyone that made the first and second all-region teams, and congratulations again on another great season. With tryouts ending last week, Emily Jones had the chance to speak with Coach Aikens about the season ahead. Over to y'all. I'm here with Coach Aikens to talk about this year's basketball team. How do you think the JV team will turn out this year? We have a lot of young players that are coming out that will be playing JV, and we're very excited about the energy that they've brought to practice every day. So I think it'll be a good JV season. Do you think the varsity team will make it to the championship this year? Um, might be a little early to start talking about a championship, but I know our girls are going to work hard. We're going to come up with game plans. I'm excited about our senior leadership with Sage Kelly, Emily Eddins, and Alexis Nelms. Um, I think their leadership is going to provide what we need for these young, aggressive players that we have. When is the first game going to be? November the 15th against LaGrange is our first scrimmage game. Thank you. Thanks, y'all. Now back to Zane and Maddie. Thanks, y'all. That's all for this week's edition of the Weekly Reminders with Zane. And Maddie. And remember, stay, stay classy, Brave Nation. Nation. My face above the water. My feet can't touch the ground, touch the ground, and it feels like I can see the sands on the horizon every time you are not around, slowly drifting. 